Okay, back to the Kindle Fire, uh, which is, we have disconnected from the computer just through the software. It's, it's still connected to the uh, computer. But basically, next step would be to go into apps. And if you have not done so already, uh, you will want to install a file explorer. In this case, I installed from, directly from the Amazon App Store ES File Explorer. Uh, when you, it is free, so you know, just type File Explorer and you'll you'll get a list of that. Uh, you want to open it, and you'll pre be presented with this. In this case, you want to get Kindle Root APK. So it'll look like a little uh, Android policeman writing a ticket. You want to click on it. And it'll ask if you want to install. Say install. It will install. And when it's done, you say open. And I need to turn this over. Uh, one second. Okay. Oops. When it opens. Uh, you will have a disclaimer here. It is basically uh, about rooting. It may cause damage to your device, but if done properly, uh, I have not seen anything happen because I've rooted this before. So you want to click agree. Uh, this is for credit. Uh, the person who did this is just in case, uh, or J Case, uh, Vashi Poo, Trevor Eckhart, Io Moster, and AndroidPolice.com and Roots Wiki for doing support so uh, you have a choice between you rock and you suck I don't know why you would want to uh, click you suck so we're gonna click you rock and now I will ask what do you want to do root or exit well in previous versions and uh, other videos they did have the ability to root unroot and exit but this, this is updated so you only have root and exit so we will say root and it gives you uh, final steps uh, these are uh, this is a shortened list of which then I will now show you on the computer so go back to your computers and I'll show you what to do okay now that we're back to the PC uh, make sure that the Kindle Fire is plugged in uh, if if you uh, if it um, goes to uh, disk mode, just disconnect it from. Just press the disconnect button, but make sure that the uh, uh, cable stays into the uh, device. Uh, go back to the uh, command prompt as we did before, and if you still had it open, uh, uh, just hit up and do ADB devices, or else. In case if you uh, needed, um, if you closed it, uh, just t type in C C D space C colon backslash then kin and then hit the tab key, and then hit enter. It'll take you to C colon Kindle A D B, and all we have to do is do A D B devices devices. We'll verify that it is connected, and mine is still connected. Next thing that needs to be done is to actually do the root process. Okay, this is the Roots Wiki website, which I have provided at the bottom. Uh, this is done by J. Case, the one who brought, uh, who created the burrito root. So, big shout out to him. There's another video here. It's a, it's a tad li little bit older, but it is done by Nate Mill. Uh, he he did a video of the same version that you're watching now. Uh, so shout out to him for basically inspiring me to go on from there. And we what we want to do is go down here to these commands right here. And basically from here on out, we want to just do copy and paste so highlight each of these commands we could have to do it one at a time right click or do control C 
and from the uh, command prompt you have to right click so and do paste you can't do control C control V type thing so say root and then ADB mount or remount oops that's what happens when you hit control paste control V remount ADB you can just you know type these out but it is better because since you are getting root access you might mess something up and you know type something wrong and then it, it won't work very well so just a bunch of copy and paste copy and paste all I have to do is hit enter after every uh, command and once you get back to a blinking cursor then you just add the set next one basically what it is doing is taking all the files that we took that we put into that Kindle ADB and it's going to copy it over to uh, the Kindle and the last command is ADB reboot and this will make your uh, Kindle reboot and just wait for it to re reboot if it uh, after it reboots just hit disconnect uh, when the uh, when it mounts onto the computer and we'll, let's move over to the Kindle Fire and we'll uh, verify that we have indeed uh, rooted the Kindle Okay, now that your uh, Kindle has rebooted, and mine has, uh, when you hit the uh, uh, power button, it should come up to here. All you have to do is disconnect. And now you should see this uh, Android, a little picture of an Android with an eye patch. Looks like a little pirate. And that means you have super user access and you have uh, gained. Uh, root access to your Kindle. Congratulations, your Kindle Fire is now rooted. Now the next thing I'm going to do is in the next video is show you how to install the Android Market. Uh, Amazon did not install the Android Market. But that does not mean that you cannot do it. You are able to install the Android Market very easily and get most of the apps uh, just realize that uh, many apps that you may find on your Android phone may not show up in the uh, um, store the Android market because it is looking for location based GPS type uh, stuff of which the, the permissions require and usually won't show up but th that doesn't mean that we can't sideload them I will show those in uh, separate videos and so if you've gotten to this point congratulations uh, I will be making as I said I'll be making how to install Android Market as well as other Google uh, apps like mail and calendar and news and weather you know basically this can become a full-fledged Android phone without the phone so it would be a, it's essentially a giant iPad now not giant iPad, but you get the idea. So, again, this is Brian with uh, Modern Day Computers, and have a good day.